Good morning. It is Friday, November 27th. Welcome back to the garden. The bucket garden, that is. We got a little unveiling to do. We had a nice little frost the other morning. We got one more nice little afternoon, and then we got some hard freezes coming up. So we're going to take a look at what happened with the horseradish this year. Now, if you remember, we received three horseradishes that were kind of moldy and in pretty bad shape. But we doctored them up and they came on just fine. We're going to go ahead and see what we got there. The fourth horseradish, it came in a big block and it did very, very well. We'll see if we got anything there. The reason we planted these in buckets and not out in the garden is I'm afraid how invasive these might become. So let's go ahead and see what we got. We're going to do this in the wheelbarrow because I don't want any of these rhizomes to get loose. I've never planted horseradish, so I'm not even sure what to expect. Let me get some water. Well, that's not exactly what I was expecting. Let's see what we get. There's a couple nice little roots on here. Well, that's bucket number one. All right, bucket number two. We're just going to go with the, the dump. See what we get. Not too bad. Wipe the water out of my eye. Group number three. If you are a horseradish expert, tell me what I did right or wrong. Leave a comment down below. All right, let's take a look at the big piece of horseradish that we got. Let's see what we got with that one. I was expecting really. I'm gonna clean these up just a little bit more and let's see what we get. I'm gonna go ahead and get a hose out here. This was our initial block of horseradish. And some of these sprouted off of there, and it looks like some of them. That was our initial block, split in half. We got quite a few little roots coming off. Now to store these, they said in a plastic bag in the crisper in the refrigerator, and they'll be good till spring. We'll go ahead and uh, Replant some of these in the spring and see what we get. Now, I don't have the guts to bite into one of these right now. I know they're going to be pretty warm. I don't think we did too bad with our bucket garden this year. These roots look really, really good. We're going to go ahead and store some of these in the crisper in the refrigerator to plant next year. Stay tuned for an upcoming processing video where we show you how we make horseradish. Some people say chopping onions makes your eyes water. I understand these make your eyes water also. 
if you want to see what we did in the bucket garden this year, click that video. If you'd like to see how we started the horseradish? Click that video right there. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.